In this video, we're going to compare means and ranges, taking these three things in mind. We need to compare the means, compare the ranges, and relate it to the question. So this question is about a class that took two tests, and now we can, and we've got the means and the ranges for both of them. So in terms of the means, the mean has gone up over time, and the ranges, they've gone down. Now, when I'm structuring my reply on these sort of questions, I always start with on average and then talk about the averages. And then I end with consistent after a sentence about the range. So, on average, the class performed better in test two as the mean is now higher. And their results in test two were more consistent as the range was lower. So, my statement would be, on average, the class performed better in test two and the results in test two were more consistent. Here's a second question about uh, two groups of plants. Now we have their means and ranges, so let's compare them. So the mean of the first group was higher than the mean of the second group. Uh, and the range of group one is lower than the range of group two. So that means that group two has less consistent measurements. So let's look at that structure we talked about before. We always start with on average and finish with consistent. So on average, the plants in groups one were taller, their mean is larger, and the heights in group two were less consistent as the range was bigger. So saying that in one go, on average, the plants in group one were taller and, and the heights in group two were less consistent. 